Forget compost, this makes dead soil alive in 15 days. No fertilizer can beat this. Soil is more than just dirt, it's alive, it breathes, it supports billions of organisms, and it creates the foundation for every harvest. Yet most of us treat soil as though it were dead, pouring chemical fertilizers into it season after season. Fertilizers may make plants green for a while but they do little to restore the soil itself. Over time, the ground hardens, nutrients wash away and life beneath the surface fades. Here at Soil and Crop Central we want to show you a method that doesn't just feed plants but transforms the soil itself. In as little as 15 days your earth can come alive again, dark, rich, and full of life. Best of all, it works better than chemical fertilizers and keeps working long after. Why fertilizer alone isn't enough. Chemical fertilizers work like energy drinks. They give plants a quick rush but leave the soil weaker in the long run. They cannot rebuild soil structure, they don't retain water, and they often kill off beneficial microbes. When the nutrients are gone, plants are left starving again. You know, true fertility comes from restoring the living ecosystem in the soil. Microbes, fungi, and earthworms that turn organic matter into food for plants. When soil life is thriving, fertility becomes self-sustaining, season after season. And honestly, that's where mulch and organic activation come in. There's a natural secret beneath our feet. If you walk into a forest, you'll find something remarkable. The soil is always soft, dark, and fertile, yet no one fertilizes it. The secret lies in fallen leaves, branches, and plant matter that decompose naturally. Microorganisms transform that organic matter into humus, a nutrient-rich material that keeps soil fertile year after year. We can actually bring this forest magic into our gardens. By covering the soil with mulch, wood chips, branches, leaves, or compost, we recreate the natural cycle that keeps soil alive. Unlike fertilizers, mulch feeds the soil first, which in turn, feeds the plants. Mulching is more than just covering the ground. Once you apply a layer of organic matter, the soil begins to change almost immediately. Moisture stays in longer, surface temperatures stabilize, weeds struggle to grow, earthworms rise to feed. Within two weeks, decomposition begins, fungi spread, and the soil starts to soften. Plants respond with greener leaves, stronger stems, and healthier root growth. This is not a temporary fix but the beginning of a permanent transformation. Mulch revives soil in ways fertilizers can't. First, it improves soil structure, making it loose and airy so roots can breathe and expand. Second, it regulates moisture acting like a sponge that soaks up water and releases it slowly. Third, it feeds microorganisms which process organic matter into plant-available nutrients. Finally, mulch protects against erosion and suppresses weeds. Instead of feeding plants directly, mulch builds a living ecosystem that sustains fertility naturally. This is why it works better, deeper, and longer than any fertilizer. Choosing the right mulching materials is, honestly, a big deal. Different materials bring different benefits and combining them works best. Wood chips and branches decompose slowly, improving soil texture for years. Dry leaves break down quickly, adding nitrogen and boosting microbial activity. Grass clippings decompose fast, giving a quick dose of organic matter but should be applied in thin layers to avoid rot. Compost delivers an instant boost of nutrients and microbes, while pine needles add acidity for crops like berries. The most powerful mulch layer combines slow and fast decomposers. A base of wood chips topped with leaves and compost mimics the forest floor and accelerates soil revival. So before you apply mulch, it's a good idea to loosen the top layer of soil a bit. This really helps with airflow. Spread the mulch evenly across the bed, making sure the thickness stays between 5 and 10 centimeters. Now, if you're working around trees and shrubs, you can actually go up to 15 centimeters, but always remember to leave a little gap at the base so you don't cause any rot. In vegetable beds, you want to cover the soil evenly, but try not to pile mulch directly onto those fragile stems. Over time, the mulch will naturally break down and get thinner. 
so it's a good idea to refresh it once or twice a season to make sure you keep getting all those great benefits. If you're looking for faster results, you can actually prepare a natural fermentation liquid that speeds up decomposition and kind of wakes up those soil microbes. Just take one kilogram of finely chopped fresh greens like grass clippings, put it in a bucket with 10 liters of clean water, and add a handful of garden soil for the natural microbes. Stir it well, and leave it to ferment for 5 to 7 days, giving it a good stir every day. Alright, once the liquid develops a mild earthy smell, you'll want to dilute 1 liter of it into 5 liters of water. Then go ahead and pour this mixture directly over your mulch or soil. You'll notice that within days, microbial activity increases, decomposition accelerates, and the soil starts changing right before your eyes. So, what can you expect in 15 days? Well, the transformation begins pretty quickly. Within a week, you'll see that the soil stays darker and moister after watering. By the second week, you'll notice earthworms making an appearance, the mulch beginning to decompose and the soil becoming softer. And oh, the plants will respond with stronger growth, deeper green leaves, and a visible vigor. These changes, they don't just fade away after one season. With continued mulching and organic activation, your soil becomes permanently fertile. Over time, it turns into rich, black earth filled with life, an environment where plants thrive naturally without heavy feeding. Mulching benefits every part of your garden. In vegetable beds, it keeps soil moist, reduces disease, and improves yield. In berry patches, it protects roots, stabilizes soil temperature, and keeps fruits clean. Around fruit trees, it encourages root growth, improves aeration, and prevents water loss. Even flowers and ornamentals flourish with mulch, staying healthier and more vibrant while, you know, requiring less maintenance. At Soil and Crop Central, we believe gardening should work with nature, not against it. Fertilizers may bring short-term gains, but honestly, they weaken the foundation of healthy soil. Mulching restores balance, supports natural fertility, and makes the earth self-sustaining. It's simple, affordable, and effective. You know, it doesn't require chemicals or special tools, just organic matter, and the patience to let nature do what it does best. In just 15 days, you'll see the soil come alive, and over time, it will only get better. Healthy soil is the key to healthy plants. Fertilizers alone just can't deliver lasting fertility, but mulch can. By applying organic matter and activating it with a simple natural formula, you can restore your soil's structure, retain moisture, suppress weeds, and rebuild the microbial ecosystem that plants need to thrive. The transformation begins almost immediately, and within 15 days, the results are visible. Living soil, stronger crops, and harvests that just keep improving season after season. Try this method in your own garden and see the difference. And if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central and share this video with friends and fellow gardeners. Together, let's bring our soil back to life.